What's up, Psychedelic Spotlight? My name's James, and I'm happy to present to you a brand new episode of the Psych Business Roundup, a segment where we cover the most important news stories when it comes to investing in psychedelic medicines. To start, we're going to be looking at MindMed, who is, of course, ticker symbol MNMD on the NASDAQ exchange. The news that we have for you today is that MindMed has announced they're ready to begin recruiting for a brand new LSD microdosing study. This study will take place in healthy individuals, and it will compare the differences between taking an LSD microdose in the morning as compared to taking it the night. Also, it will of course compare it to a placebo group. Now, this study is going to measure such variables such as changes in your sleep measurements, mood, cognitive performance, regulation of emotions, quality of life, and immune system response. Now, this is actually super important because despite the mountains of anecdotal evidence that LSD microdosing can help with things like increasing your focus, decreasing your anxiety, increasing your creativity, and improving your mood, it's actually still kind of an open question whether or not this is all due to the placebo effect. Or, in other words, if you expect to see benefits, then you will see benefits, even if you're just taking a sugar pill. Now, this is actually what a recent study by the Imperial College of London found. They argued that the benefits of microdosing psychedelics was completely due to the placebo effect. So we just need to see lots more studies to either confirm or deny their findings and have bigger, larger studies that are perhaps better designed. Either way, if LSD microdosing is found to be beneficial, then this is exciting because we have the chance to improve millions of lives here, whether they have been diagnosed with a mental illness or not. Next up, we're going to be looking at Cybin, ticker symbol CYBN, on the New York Stock Exchange. The news today is that Cybin has unveiled new details on their psilocybin-inspired molecule, CYB003. Now, this actually happened a couple weeks ago, but it is so important we decided to cover it in this segment today. So, as I'm sure most of you guys are already aware, Psilocybin has been shown to be very effective in treating depression. For example, Compass Pathways just released data from their Phase 2b clinical trial that showed that psilocybin was effective in treating treatment-resistant depression, and we'll link the episode where we discuss that at the end of this one. Anyhow, as I was saying, psilocybin is effective in treating depression. However, there are a few issues with using psilocybin in a clinical setting. There are actually three core issues that we're going to talk about here. So first is the long duration of effect. Often psilocybin trips can take anywhere between 6 to 10 hours. This means you're going to have to pay a therapist for that entire time to watch over you, which will be very, very expensive and price out many people. A second issue is the long onset action. Often it can take more than an hour for you to reach the peak effects on psilocybin. And finally, there is a large variability in effect between individuals. For example, if you and I both take 25 milligrams of psilocybin, we may have very different effects, very different subjective experiences, and that is an issue. So Cybin claims that with CYB003, they will be able to keep all of the positive benefits of psilocybin and maintain the same subjective effects. However, the trip is going to be much shorter and there will be a shorter period before the peak. This will make the drug more accessible. Plus, they say there's going to be less variation between individuals and this will make the drug more reliable. So if this is all true and CYB003 has all these positive effects of psilocybin and none of the negative side effects, then CYB003 and not psilocybin would be the leading psychedelic drug candidate to treat depression. Now to be clear, up until this point, CYB003 has only been tested in animals and human clinical trials are slated to begin next year. So as they say, the proof will be in the pudding. Now, I actually had the chance to interview the CEO of Cybin, Doug Drysdale, recently, so we will also link that interview at the end of this episode. I definitely suggest you watching it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. You like, subscribe, tell your mom about us. I would mean a big deal to us. Also, check out psychedelicspotlight.com. Sign up for their newsletter. That way you get all the most important psychedelic news directly to your inbox. You don't have to be scrambling all week to make sure you don't miss anything. Also, guys, comment down below if you've ever tried LSD microdosing before or if it's something you would be interested in. I want to know where you guys stand on this. Alrighty guys, I'm James from The Psychedelic Investor and I will see you next time.